<laughs> Look, Nick. Finished. Hmm. It looks like you'll need more paper to wrap the gifts, Sally. That's okay. I'll use the paper I have here. Aw, oh, no. I've torn it. <sighs> Wrapping gifts is hard. Let me help. It's the cat. The cat in the hat. Ah! Oh, my. It's Minnie-Me. We made a clay model of you for my mom. She'll be so pleased. Can you help us wrap it so it won't break? Ah, it would be a pleasure. Paper, please. <laughs> Tape, please. <laughs> Cat! Oh. <gasps> help, please! <laughs> See? Wrapping a gift is hard. Not if you're a giraffe, Weevil. A giraffe weevil? What's that? A weevil is a beetle. And a giraffe weevil is... Well, come see for yourselves. We'll visit my friend Gina. Let's go! Your mother will not mind at all if we do. <laughs> Mom, can we go visit Gina the giraffe weevil to find out how to wrap a gift? Gina the giraffe weevil? Sure. Just make sure you don't peek at the present. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. We can go! We can go! I know! I know! To the thingamajigger! Buckle up! <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thingamajigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today! No one raps as well as Gina. You'll agree once you've seen her. Here we go, 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 go! go. On an adventure, go, 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 go! Welcome to the jungle of Bingle Bungle Boo. Where does Gina live? In one of those trees down there. I don't see her. That's because she's no bigger than your thumb. Press the shrink a doodle, Sally. <laughs> <gasps> Look out! <laughs> Is that Gina? No. It's her good giraffe weevil friend, George. Wow, his neck is so long, just like a giraffe. Now you can see how a giraffe weevil gets its name. Oh, George. 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 Yep. Hi, cat. Do you always have to do that? Yes, sirree. I do, I do. Oh. Meet my friends Nick and Sally. Hi. Hello. They'd like to meet Gina. They'll have to get past me first. Who wants to weevil wrestle? Why do we have to do that? Because I love to weevil wrestle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet world weevil wrestling champion, George. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the challenger? <gasps> oh, no. Not me. I guess it Will be me then. Go, cat, go! <sighs> what are we waiting for? Round one. Go, cat, go! Wow! George uses his neck for wrestling. <laughs> no one gets past me. What? No round two? <laughs> Uh, Cat, how can we get to see Gina if George won't let us? We have to wait for the right moment. Like now! Look! George is wrestling with another weevil. <laughs> that will keep him busy. Oh, look! Ah, there's Gina! Gina looks like George, but her neck's not so long. She doesn't need a long neck to wrestle with. Gina! Hello! Hi, Cat! Come on up! How do we get up there? Can't you fly? No! We don't have wings like you! When I need 
a pair of neat weevil wings, I give a loud whistle and wait for the things. Thanks, Thing One and Thing Two. Step into the one and only Weevil Wing Omatic. Cool. <laughs> Let's go see Gina! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hi! We need to wrap up something special. Cat said you'd give us some tips. Sure I can. The best way to find out about wrapping is to copy me. We're ready. What do you use to wrap things in, Gina? A leaf like this. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the right size. It's soft and bendy, too. Right. If it's soft and bendy, the leaf won't break as I roll it up. You use this leaf, Gina. We'll find another one. Hmm. <gasps> oh, look. Whoa. Tip number one, find a wrapper that fits, but not so crisp that it falls to bits. Oh. <clears throat> That's, That's how to wrap the giraffe weave away. Now. You need to fold it in half like this. Uh. Ooh. Uh. It's hard to fold a leaf when you're weevil sized. Let's use our legs like Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number two we'll do as we're told. Bend that leaf over and make a neat fold. <laughs> to make a little pocket by folding up the tip of the leaf. Just like so. What are you going to put in there, Gina? A weevil egg, of course. Wow! Weevils lay eggs? Cool! They do, they do! That's where little weevils come from. Come and see! I see your egg. The wrapper you've made is like a nest. The nest is the best for keeping something breakable safe. We don't have an egg, Cat. What can we put in our leaf? Mini me, of course. <laughs> Take care of me now. We will. <laughs> Tip number three, please make no mistake. Put your egg in the pocket so it won't break. <laughs> Away. Hmm. Now we need to fold and roll. Be careful now. <laughs> Look! Gina's using her neck to fold her leaf. We can do the same by stretching out our arms. <laughs> Good idea! <laughs> Tip number four take the greatest of care. Rolling and folding that small egg in there. <laughs> That's how to wrap the giraffe weevil way. That's how to wrap the giraffe weevil way. I'm done. Is this okay? Oh, not bad. Yay! <laughs> What's Gina doing now? Oh, it's no use hanging up here. Our parcels need to be on the ground. Oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> It's okay. Oh, that shows you did a great job wrapping it. What about your egg? That might be broken. It looks okay, too. Of course. My weevil wrapping keeps it safe. And this is the best place for it to hatch. Hey, you guys. Look, it's George. Who wants to weevil wrestle? Huh? Come on, let's go. Who's next? Who's next for the neck? We'd love to, but we have a gift to wrap at home. Thanks for showing us how to wrap. You're welcome. We're not just going to wrap it. We are going to weevil wrap it. Goodbye, Gina. Bye. Come back soon. I'll weevil wrestle you all. <laughs> yes, I will. I will. <laughs> Bye, George. <laughs>
Gina knows all about wrapping. She folds and she rolls the leaf that she's found to keep her new egg wrapped up safe and sound. <laughs> Fold and roll. There, that should stay fixed. How's it going? We wrapped it. The, the giraffe, giraffe weave away. <laughs> Oh, my! Your mom will be delighted! We have another one! And it's for you! Me? Ah! May I? Okay, yes! There's only one thing that's more fun than wrapping, and that's unwrapping! <laughs> ah, it's another me! You can never have too many cats and hats! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids. It's important to eat your vegetables. But which one of these is really a fruit? Is it a cabbage? Or is it a carrot? Or is it a tomato? So, which of these foods is really a fruit? Did you say that it's the tomato? A tomato has seeds inside, so that makes it a fruit. Did you get it this time? Well, next time, I'll stump you for sure. Time to take a picture with our snapper and the cameras! I'll take the picture, and I'll guess what it is! Oh, a puzzle! I see an eye and a beak. It's some kind of black and white bird. It's a penguin, and he's carrying a stone somewhere. That's right, Nick. Adelaide penguins make their nest out of stones. That doesn't sound very comfortable. Great photo, Sally. <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit. Look, Sally, a frog. What's he doing in your play pool, Nick? It looks like he's doing the froggy paddle. We have to get him out if we want to have our own pool party later. Did someone say pool party? It's the cat. The cat in the hat. I love splishing and splashing. We can't splish or splash, cat. Look. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, my. What's wrong? Poor little froggy. I think he hopped in and can't hop out again. Then let's help him out. Here, froggy froggy, let me help you. Hey! <sighs> I can't catch him. What'll we do? I know someone who's great at catching things in water. My friend Penny the Pelican from Splishy Splash. Could she help us catch a frog? Let's go see. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom, can we go to Splishy Splash with the cat in the hat to see pelicans catch things in water? See pelicans catch things in water? Okay. Let me know if they pelican or pelican't. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. We can go. We can go. I know. I know. To the thingamajigger. Splishy Splash sounds like my kind of place. I love to splish. Splash. Me too. Especially when I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today. Penny the Pelican in Splishy Splash can help us out with our froggy catch. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. Here we are! Splishy Splash is mostly water. Pelicans are birds that love water. That's why we'll need to press the float of my boater. Can you see any pelicans, Nick? I don't know. What do they look like? Pelicans are magnificent birds who are kind of... Uh... Roly-poly? With a great big... Nose! Bill? Yes! 
with a great big flappy bag underneath. Huh? Bag? Pelicans must be seen to be believed. <laughs> Is that Penny the Pelican? I don't think so. That bird doesn't have a flappy bag under its bill. Good spotting. Wow! <laughs> Oh, hi! Hey! <laughs> Meet Gavin the Gannet. Hello! That dive was awesome! Well, thank you! Us Gannets love to dive! Do you know Penny the Pelican? We need help catching a frog in water. Oh, you don't need a pelican for that. Us Gannets know all about catching stuff in the water. You do? Can you show us how? Sure! All I need is something to catch, like a tasty fish. Mmm! Don't look at me. Need something to catch? There's just one thing to do. Whistle real loud for thing one and thing two. Hello! We need something fishy, about this size. <laughs> <laughs> that toy robo-fishy is perfect. <laughs> Prepare to launch. Ow! Yeah! Wow! It's gone underwater. How will you get it? Just watch me. Yay! There aren't any fish up there. Uh-uh. But the higher up I fly, the deeper down I can dive to catch them. We can watch Gavin with my gobble maglobber. Whoa! Here comes the Robo Fishy, and here comes Gavin. Wahoo! Go, go Gavin, go! Go, go, go Gavin, Gavin go. go! Yay! Wow, that was fast. Yep, I uh, can't stay underwater very long. High diving's a great way to catch stuff in water. Let's go home and take the plunge. Wait, Nick's play pool is made for splashing. Not for diving. Sally's right. Oh, that's too bad. I'll tell Penny you're looking for her, if I see her. Thanks, Gavin. Bye. Happy diving. Catch you later. Wow! Hoo -hoo. Bye, bye Gannets are great, but we need a pelican. Penny! Oh, Penny! You don't need pelicans. Huh? Us cormorants are great catchers. They're also great sneaker-uppers. <laughs> Meet Cory the cormorant. Hi, Cory. Hello. Do cormorants dive like gannets to catch things? No. We do it our own way, doll. Watch what I can do. Wahoo! <laughs> Looks like fun. Then why don't we all go for a swim? Yeah! Count me out. I like my water a little less salty. Wow, Cory's great at swimming underwater. It's hard to keep up with those big webby feet. Try flapping your flippers the same way as Cory. Cory's flip flappy kick works great for swimming underwater. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how good she is at catching the robo fishy. Yippee! Yippee! Go, Cory, go! go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That robo fishy didn't stand a chance. Thanks. Being good at holding my breath means I can stay underwater longer to catch things. It also helps to have wibby webby toes. <laughs> holding your breath and swimming underwater is a great way to catch stuff. <gasps> Let's go, go, go get that frog. Wait! Nick's play pool only comes up to our ankles. <sighs> And I can't hold my breath as long as a cormorant. Cory's way of catching things in water works great for her, but not for us. I guess we need to keep looking for Penny the Pelican. Do you know where to find her? She likes to play closer to the shore. <laughs> Thanks, Cory. You're welcome. Now, I have some real fish to catch. Oh, no offense. None taken. 
Doodly oodly. Hmm. If I were a pelican, where would I be? Who are you? <gasps> Look at that great big bill! And that big flappy bag underneath! Pretty impressive, huh? You must be Penny the Pelican! Mm, sure am. Gavin the Gannet told me you're playing Catch the Fish. <gasps> May I play too? Hmm. Don't ask me. Sure! We'd love you to play! <laughs> it won't be so easy this time! Go, Robo Fishy, go! Oh, goody. What fun. Yikes! How's Penny going to catch the Robo Fishy? Is she going to die or hold her breath underwater? No one catches things in water quite like a pelican. Even a fish would have to agree. Right, fish? Help! <gasps> Over here, guys! Hello! What are you doing up there? Quit playing around. Help! I don't think he's playing, Cat. Fish overboard! Uh -huh. I can scoop your fishy friend up in my pouch if you like. That's okay. After watching you, we know what to do. <laughs> We're coming, fish! All engines, reverse, Captain. H-E-L-P! Help! Help! Hang on, fish! We'll catch you! Just like a pelican! Ah. Yes, we can, can, can! Gotcha! You. Hooray! Yeah. Thanks for rescuing me, guys! Now I know how to rescue that frog from my play pool with a super-duper water scooper. <laughs> it works for me. Gannets are divers who like to go high. Cormorants can swim underwater. Oh, my. But to catch stuff in water, I'm a big fan of using a pouch like a pelican can. That's it, Nick. Come on. You got it. Ribbit. Yay! Good scoop, just like Penny the Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> nice rescue. Time for that pool party. Last one in's a silly goose. Wahoo! Oops, we're gonna need more water. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we're going to interview a rock crab. Why are you called a rock crab anyway? Is it because you eat rocks? I'm called a rock crab because I look a bit like these rocks. We like to blend in with the rocks and sand to keep safe. But I do eat things like plants, worms, shrimp, things I can find on the beach here. Hmm, I don't see any teeth. How do you chew your food? Well, for starters, I use my claws to crunch up my food. Then I have things in my stomach that are sort of like teeth to finish breaking the food into small bits. Teeth? In your stomach? Well, they're quite different than your teeth, but they do the same job. That's so cool! If you'll excuse me now, I really must find more food. And that was our interview with a rock crab. We all have two lungs and we all have a heart. We all have a brain that is wonderfully smart. These are some of the organs that are inside of you. We can go there with help from thing one and thing two. Spongy pink lungs help us breathe in and breathe out. And use good things from the air that they spread all about. Your heart is your body's big beating pump sending blood through your body with each thumping thump. Why does the heart beat again and again? To answer that, we must go to the brain. Your brain tells your body to work hard for you. And it's where you think and remember things, too. We've seen some of our organs, and now you and I know. Organs help bodies to work well and grow. 
your body. It tells you when there's something that you need. Like a voice inside your head, it will help you to succeed. Don't ignore the signs, cause your body's what you use. Pay attention, better listen, or you'll miss your body clues. Your tummy is growling so loudly. It might be just time to eat. Your muscles turn the food into the fuel your body's use. Might be hungry, better listen, or you'll miss your body clues. Playing games for hours and my stomach starts to roar. You can hear it as I'm running down the hall and out the door. Goosebumps on my arms, on my neck, and on my chin. Cool air has caused the hair to stand up on my skin. Make sure you're bundled if you visit the North Pole, or you'll shake and shiver from the cold. Your muscles, they tighten from cold temperatures, it's true. Give you goosebumps, listen, or you'll miss your body clues. Follow all the cues, then you'll never lose. Pay attention, better listen, or you'll miss your body A picture with, with our Snapperama cameras. I'll take the picture, and I'll guess what it is. Take a guess. Hmm. It's pink with lots of bumps on it. Oh, is it a grapefruit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nick, is that a picture of your tongue? Sure is. Uh, those bumps are my taste buds. They help us taste the flavor of our food. Great photo, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> 